Hello there and welcome to this Black Butler CL Plus review. Now uh, I have something to tell you. I have been wanting to make a review on this for so long and just not got around to doing it. Uh, but yeah, I just recently watched Black Butler 1 and 2. So that sparked me to do this. Because I've had this for like over a year, it must be. I can't remember it was that long ago. Uh, but yeah, this is a really, really detailed plus. And I got it for about £15, which is about $21. Uh, dollars, or I guess you could say twenty-one dollars. Um. So yeah, I really like that anime, or well, the first one anyway. Um, I guess you could call it one hell of an anime. But yeah, enough to chat into the review. So first of all, we have his head. Now his hair is made of this that material that flaps up and you can like comb it and stuff it's really fluffy it's so soft and I love how it's his spines um, along here it's symmetrical which is kind of weird but yeah it looks good um, you've got tiny baby ears focus uh, I'll be back, I'm just going to focus the camera. Now on to the eye patch. Um, this is made of felt. Um, hard felt. Um, and the string for it is kind of... It's that shiny, smooth material. I don't know what it is. Uh, so if you just take his eye patch up, you can see his demon eye. Which I think that's so cool. Uh, really, really good attention to detail on this. So on his eye patch, he has his eye, and the string goes all around the back. Oops, my hand just cracked. Um, to here, and we get to the first problem. Oh, probably the only problem. This is a really, really, really delicate plush. It is not for playing and throwing about and stuff. So if you're getting this for like a younger sibling, don't get this one because or be, be prepared um, for things to come off and break. Like this button here has come off, so that looks horrible now. And I had to glue this on myself with super glue. That looks horrible. Well, to me, it does anyway. If I know it, the more I look at it, the better it looks. But this used to be, I think it was tied and glued, but now it's just glued on. Uh, so yeah, this is a really delicate plus. Um, and his other eye is stitched on, perfect colour by the way. All the colours are just so good. This lighting probably makes it more diff or makes it different, but it's really good lighting. <laughs> lighting. Really good colours. And his mouth is stitched on. Now the head's uh, well stuffed, it's not too hard, not too soft. Um, and it's flatter at one side than the front. And uh, yeah, so it's like kind of 2D. But I like that, it gives it some nice style to it. Now we are going on to the body. Now, ugh, this plush is just so detailed. I just can't describe how good it is. Um, so, uh, let, let's just start off. This coat is actually a layer of fabric. And if you cut those bits, I don't know why you really want to. I think you could actually take his jacket off, which is really cool. And then he has these... Uh, short, no, they're the legs. Um, he has this overcoat, which is actually skin underneath, which isn't 
flat onto the skin, it's actually put on so it actually looks like clothes. This is the same with Sebastian. And there is a Grell plush in this series. I don't know who these are made by, but you can search it up on Google Images if it's easy enough. Um, so he has like a bow tie, he has buttons, he has a coat, he has this undershirt. It's just an overall really, really nice looking plush. So he's. His arms are well stuffed, they're harder than all the rest, and they're just stubby, which is really cute, it's kind of chibi. So strangely this is made out of that felt, um, and the bow is made out of the string for the eye punch, and it's actually tied. Um, his coat is just really nice as well. Like the buttons are actually sewn on. And these buttons, although that one did come off. And this black bit is printed on. And at the back there are two more buttons. So, uh, yeah, on the sleeves he has these kind of cuffs. So yeah, it's just... I didn't know blushes could get this detailed and complex. It's just one of my favourite blushes. And I've hardly used them in any videos. Because in my Shadow and Nook series, he's coming up in that. I won't spoil it. But yeah, he's a big character in it. In the later episodes, anyway. So now onto the legs. Uh, he has these shorts, which are just like this. They're not sewn on. No. Which uh, is just so cool. And if you were weird, you could actually take these trousers off. Um. And onto the boots. Uh, these sound too good. This is one of the only problems along with the fragile on us. Don't know if that's a word. But these aren't sewn on, or they're only sewn on at the inside so they can just freely flap about and stuff. Luckily they are tight, so they don't move that easily, but they do still move. And his legs are basically just stubs, which is really cute as well. It's chibi. So the tag, the tag that came with it was the same tag, they, I don't think this came with its own tag, because when it got sent, I actually got sent two. So I got this one, and I got another one, completely free. So yeah, if my sister lets me, I may include that in the contest if I do get 650 subscribers by 2000. And 16, I think I might, but yeah, I think that might be one of the prizes. So, uh, yeah, and the Sebastian tag was a really kind of large circle, purple and black, and black by the colours. Um, it was all in Japanese, but it was a really cool tag with the silhouette of Sebastian on it. So overall, one of the most detailed and attention to detail plush I've ever seen. I think it must be the most detailed plush I have. Apart from the Kelly Toy Silver plush, that is a masterpiece. Um, but anyway, I would rate this plush, you know what's coming, a 10 out of 10. The only problems are how fragile it is and uh, these bits, which are really no big problem, you can just move them back, but it does get kind of annoying if you're making a video with him or something. But he also stands up like this, so you can put him on like a shelf with all your 
Collect's collection and stuff. I think this is basically just a collector's item. But, uh, yeah, as a plush video maker thing, I do use him. Or I want to use him. Because he's just so cool. And he's really cute as well. Uh, but yeah, I hope I have pleased all the Black Butler fans. And if you did like this video, please like it and uh, share, it really helps. So uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.